Hi, my name is Thibaut Prados. I'm real-time and a virtual reality manager at Optis. Uh, I will present you today's uh, software, which name is uh, Spios RTV3. Uh, it's a real-time software that enables uh, users to see in real-time uh, with a retrust technology uh, the effect of the light uh, in a virtual environment. So uh, what I will show you that here is uh, a scene having uh, specific physics-based data, uh, measured data, that, that's included into the scene and simulated in real time. So what Optis propose is the, the physics-based simulation. So we will uh, put some physics-based data as spectrum, as uh, watt powers to sources, as BRDF to uh, each surface in the scene, and after put everything in the simulation and experience it in real time. So here you will see the, the application. So for example, you can see in the window the reflection on the lines, on the road lines uh, into the window. And when, when you are changing the camera, the reflection is, is changing too. So everything is computed in real time and you can have physical value associated to each pixel. So you can see here that for each pixel you have a physical value in candela per meter square. This physical value could be compared uh, to the reality and should be, should be the same. So it's what we propose to our, to our clients. It's to, to have the simulation of the reality and to have quantitative values to check uh, the systems. Here we have another software uh, which is based on classical rend uh, Optis rendering. This software um, computes uh, every reflections of the light into, uh, in, this, in this example, into a car cockpit. So the reflections are multiple and uh, diffuse reflection in all the car cockpits. And we can, we can see uh, some uh, problems, uh, some issues due to, due to the conception. Uh, for example, if we switch off the ambient light, we have, we have a bad reflection on the driver window of the displays. So uh, the designer of the cars could enhance the visual ergonomy of the, of the cars using this software. And after you can manage each source separately and change, change the level of the light, change the spectrum also. And, but the data are huge. We have more than five gigabytes of data and we have to display this in real time. So we are using the AMD technology to, and the OpenCL to, uh, to compute this, all of this in real time and uh, bring all this data to the graphics card uh, in real time. So thank you very much for your attention.